Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 30 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is connection. In the spirit of that, allow me to talk a bit about how people would connect when it came to setting up games. Now, I wasn't there for the earliest days of it, but I distinctly remember play-by-email being a thing. I I was very much around when um, when people were running you using forums, obviously. I bl in fact I tried to integrate some of the people who were doing R RP forums into the realm of tabletop. There was also the short-lived Inferno project as well as Gleamax. And while I'm not sure if Inferno is completely dead, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not exactly pulling in a whole lot of people coming back to it. But there's but the, but these days there's plenty of looking for group kind of applications and services that allow one to set up a game pretty easily. Never mind the fact that we have virtual tabletops nowadays, so you can go that route too. The virtual tabletop thing is always something that I was an advocate of, as I felt like it would eliminate the location problem that a lot of people have when trying to get a game together. Especially if you use a game that is not inside the big two. In fact, that seems to be the route things have gone. Oh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see entire games that are somehow meant to take advantage of cloud systems. I'm not entirely sure on how that would go about, but it is something I can see happening down the line. And of course, in all this era of success, I think it's time we also discuss failures. One of the big ones for me was the Gleamax experiment that Wizards tried to do right around the early days of D&D 4th Edition. The initial idea was to create a full-on virtual tabletop, kind of what, um, what a certain person up in, uh, up in Eastern Europe is doing that I covered a few weeks ago on the Kickstarter Spotlight. It's certainly an ambitious idea, that one that I don't think was quite there in 2008. The issue is going to be whenever you're trying to handle settings that are not exactly the typical fare. That's always been the problem with trying to do this whole integrate the graphic in, into a literal into a literal board on a, a 3D setup. I think the 2D setup that you see with a lot of virtual tabletops is the best way to go, simply because that's going to be a lot more malleable for people who don't feel like making their own um, 3D minis. Even though it's certainly possible with Hero Forge, but not everybody is going to be that level of artist. That's just how these things work. 